a nice look at this. It's a cut section of a uterus. You can see the serosa out here. You can see the myometrium here, this white area. And in the internal or luminal or endometrial side, you see spongy hemorrhagic yellowish pink tissue. In addition, this tissue invades clearly into the muscle. This is something that uh, was on the endometrial side and is causing invasion, and it's not an adenocarcinoma. This is a malignancy of placental tissue. This is a choriocarcinoma uh, growing and invading into the muscle. It's malignant, and it is uh, has exactly the same consistency out here as kind of like what a normal placenta usually does. Let's take a look at it microscopically. You can see here is myometrium here. Let's take a couple of clicks to verify that. Big thick bands of smooth muscle. Out here is a area of invasive tumor. And this pinker stuff out here at first glance may look like uh, myometrium, but all it is is a blood clot. You could see fibrin and uh, neutrophils, and you can see a nice little tissue wrinkle there as well. So let's take a look at uh, some of uh, the tumor here that's invading the myometrium, which is, of course, where a choriocarcinoma might be expected to go because that's what it's next to. Also notice there's little invasive nests out here. Well, let's take a look at this area here and describe the tumor. We can describe it, first of all, as having big, plump cells. You can see some of these appear to be in mitosis, like here, like here. Notice how big they are and how big the nucleoli are. Notice how they diffusely invade these smooth muscle cells. But also notice in some areas how they appear to have multi-nucleated cells. Well, I want to show you a little surprise right now. This is the world's most classic textbook normal placental villus. Here is the uh, syncytiotrophoblast on the outside and some cytotrophoblast on the inside. In addition, there are small blood vessels like there are in all mature villi because that's the definition of a mature villus. It's one that's big enough to have its own internal blood supply. This is a normal villus. Notice, especially here, that the syncytiotrophoblast is called syncytiotrophoblast because it is a syncytium. These cells form a giant cell just like they do in the tumor cells out here as well. Only in this case, they've gone wild, they're invasive, they could kill the patient. Um, let's take a look at a couple of the little nests in, uh, in other areas besides this one big nest here. Let's take a look at some of these cells over here. Uh, will we be lucky enough to find some? Well, maybe not. These appear to just be some blood vessels and smooth muscle cells. And I don't know if there are some little nests of tumor out here as well. At first I thought there might have been, but apparently they're not. They're just blood vessels and smooth muscle cells. So it looks like in this area, in this slice at least, the bulk of the tumor uh, seems to be fairly localized to this one place right in the center of the slide where we see these uh, invasive uh, trophoblastic cells, some of which are still forming giant cells, diffusely invade throughout the myometrium. And thank you very much.